Hi, sweet girl. Ready to get up? Oh, stretch, 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 mama. There you go. Look at the sweet girl. <laughs> the best thing is whenever you unswaddle them and you watch them stretch. <laughs> That's a big stretch, mama. You hungry? <laughs> First day as a mama of three by myself and I already got two extra kiddos in my bed good morning girls yeah herself so now we gotta change you i was just showing you guys how she's ready for the day but looks like we gotta change you hmm? <laughs> let's see what we should put on you huh yeah this one. thank you for waiting for me baby Sorry, your sister spit up all over herself, so I gotta change her when I'm done brushing your teeth, okay? No, Mama, change her when I'm Okay, let's brush your teeth, okay? Not the red teeth. Oh, wow, you already put toothpaste on it? Mm-hmm. Good job, thank you. Oops, sorry, Mama. <laughs> <clears throat> Done. Before I change Jade again, I thought I might as well show you her changing station. So I have these two like macrame baskets, and in one of them I keep some diapers, wipes. The other one I have like the straps for the Kikaru. I have this little baby essentials bag that has like her brush, her nail clippers, nail file, stuff like that. I have her little like nose bulb syringe thing and then some lotion and then i change her on the kikru as well as this blooming changing mat 
a subscriber actually sent us this so if you sent us this thank you so much it has literally been a lifesaver because it gets really cold in our house so whenever i have to change her in the morning or at night i just put on this blooming mat that way jade doesn't get too cold whenever i change her so this has been amazing so if you sent us this thank you so much but i'm gonna go ahead and change baby girl again because she just threw up all over herself huh all right so we got her changed again and you know what's really sad? It's sad because when we first brought her home, she was like drowning in all of her newborn clothes because she was so tiny. So all of her like feet and her newborn clothes were like up to here and she just did not fit in them at all. But look at her, you guys. She fits perfect in newborn now and I'm, I'm so sad about it. I mean, she's getting bigger been five weeks with her huh is she getting bigger Rory yeah like me or are you digging for something my brother ew Rory nasty <laughs> I was in the bathroom kind of putting myself together a little bit and this is what I come back to come back to hold on let me pause this <laughs> who did this is that you no yeah yeah <laughs> Life with a newborn and a toddler. Who is this? Is this Forky? What's Forky doing in there? Forky. What's he doing in there? So for breakfast this morning, I made us girls some strawberry shakes. It's just strawberries, um, some Greek yogurt, and then silk vanilla unsweetened milk. And then we're also going to eat some banana nut muffins. These are from yesterday. Mm -hmm. no, I so we're gonna just one. finish them. We don't have chocolate ones, baby. We love these. I had like four of them. Yeah, you yesterday. ate a lot yesterday. And then mm. I think mommy's going to eat the last, the last two muffins. Mm -hmm. it sounds like somebody's getting hungry over here. Uh, What's wrong, mama? We always hungry when mama's hungry, huh? Good morning, you guys, and welcome back to the Moran family. I'm actually all alone today, so today is a day in the life of a solo mom of three. Benny officially went back to work today, and it's fine, you guys. I'm fine. I already cried about it last night. I was so sad because I would just really like our family to be together because Jade is probably our last baby so I just want us all to soak it in but obviously that is unrealistic Benny has to go back to work it's been five weeks that we've had him home and it has been so nice you guys so nice he's been the biggest help ever if I am busy editing a video or like if I want to get ready for the day if I just want some time to myself, I don't even have to ask him to grab Jade. He just automatically takes care of her. He's been helping, like, feeding her. He's just been so amazing. So I'm so sad that we don't have him home anymore. But we got this. We can do this, right, girlies? We got it. So hopefully today goes smooth. The good thing about him starting work now is that Layla is on Thanksgiving break. So thankfully I don't have to homeschool. I don't have to like dive in fully into all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. So thankfully Layla and myself both have a break from that. <laughs> Are you milk wasted? Was that good mama? Say hi to the Moran family. Five weeks with this little pumpkin. <laughs> and we're so in love with her, huh? Mm -hmm. I want to feed her the next bottle. Yeah. I think there's one more in the fridge, so yeah, you can. It's not a jacket. You chill in here jacket? for a little bit so mommy can eat some breakfast, okay? I bet that's true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. doing Aurora how are you doing you're cold 
<laughs> come here so I can bundle you up. Come here, come here, let's cuddle, let's cuddle. Come on, come on. Let's cuddle, let's cuddle, it's cold. I'm on the couch. Fussing, but I guess she doesn't want it anymore. Why is there a finger in the diaper caddy? <laughs> One of the Halloween fingers. Is this yours, Worry? No, that's are going to make thankful turkeys since tomorrow's Thanksgiving, okay? Okay. And I'm gonna do one with you. So this is your turkey, and this is your turkey. So first we're gonna color our turkeys, okay? Any color you want, using the crayons, okay? Okay. So we're gonna color our turkeys, Okay. and then everybody gets two of each color. Okay. Two red ones for you. yellow so we're gonna color our turkeys yeah. and then when we're done with coloring our turkeys mm -hmm. we're gonna cut them out mm -hmm. and then okay. on each these are the feathers okay okay the feathers okay on each feather we're gonna write one word something that we're thankful for okay each turkey has six feathers so we're gonna write six things we're thankful for it can be anything you want okay so first, let's color the turkeys, okay? Okay. Ready? I've been feeling so small Watch the clock ticking off the wall But tonight I'm letting it go Spend my coin for show I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone Are you done with him? <laughs> wow, I love the colors. Yep. You did a bright turkey. Mm -hmm. Hello, my family. Wobble, 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 wobble. Ooh, oh, a little I bit more. A little bit more right there, too. Really that way the feathers stick on. Good job. And then some right here, too. Good job, Rory. Very good. See? Look how he's looking. Very good. Okay, now, what color do you want next? What color is that? Orange. Very good. Mama. So put some glue over here. I need glue. Yes, you need glue. Okay, so what does your turkey say? Let me see it. Wow, it's so good. So what are you thankful for? Can you tell me what they say? Mm-hmm. Do you remember? This says my happy day. What else? And this is my friend's school. And this is my mama. And this is my daddy. I'm sleeping in. Wow. I love your turkey. And this is Aya, Rory, 
baby day. Well, this one's Aurora's. Yep. Everything she's thankful for. And then what about yours, Layla? This is mine. Ooh, it looks good. So what do you have on there? Um, so you have family. Family. I have... Evie Bear. Evie Bear. I'm going to put Evie Bear. I'm thankful for my... Wait, is this house? Your house? Mm-hmm. Your tablet. Yeah, my tablet. I'm thankful for my new baby sister, Jay. And I'm... Thank you for my toys. I exit this out because I actually made a mistake. So I it's okay. It, again. it looks good. Jade is finally awake. And she's been a little bit fussy. Nothing too crazy. So I'm just getting some baby snuggles in. Oh, baby. And we've literally just been like watching Christmas movies all day. When we first woke up, we watched Home Alone. And the girls have been obsessed with that movie. Especially Aurora. So Jade is not a fan of tummy time today, so she was only doing it for a few minutes. I kind of think she might be hungry. What's wrong, baby? What's wrong, huh? It's okay. So as I was saying, we've literally just been relaxing all day, just watching Christmas movies. We watched the Santa Claus movie, and then now we're watching the second movie. The girls are eating some lunch. I got them some fruit, like some blueberries, and then they're eating waffles with peanut butter, so kind of a random lunch. So while I'm feeding Jade, I figured I would give you guys a month update on Jade and myself. I'm like a week behind because she's like five weeks old now, but it's better late than never. So Jade has been doing really good. Breastfeeding is still going really good. She eats like a champ. She is like done within like 10 minutes or less she completely like empties me out the only issue that i do have while breastfeeding her is i have a really like intense letdown so sometimes i will like use if i'm like really full and i know my letdown is going to be really bad i will grab my haka really quickly and i'll just stick it on there to catch my letdown that way i don't like drown her because it's like really intense and she always like chokes so sometimes i'll do that or like when i first latch her on i will like lean backwards that way my letdown isn't as intense so that's the only like issue i guess you could say that i have with breastfeeding right now it's just i have a really strong letdown so other than that breastfeeding has been going really good i haven't had like any issues with her latching or anything like that so i'm really happy about that as for myself i haven't been feeling that great for like the past week i've been dealing with really bad headaches so bad i've had to take tylenol i don't like to take any medicine when i'm breastfeeding i know tylenol is safe for you to take while breastfeeding but i try to avoid it as if i can but my headaches have been so bad. Okay, now that I got her switched, as I was saying, my headaches have just been so terrible. So I've just had to take the Tylenol. I've had to just give in to it, take it, because I've tried just about like everything I can think of. A lot of you guys gave me some recommendations on Instagram like for stuff to try. And literally like nothing has helped me. I've had like a pounding headache for like going on three days now. Like I said, today I feel pretty good. I can feel a little slight headache, but it's definitely not like it was the other days. A lot of you guys were messaging me and a lot of you were concerned. So thank you if you guys have checked up on me and you've messaged me. I really appreciate it. As far as how I'm feeling other than that, I am not bleeding anymore. So I don't have to wear like pads or anything like that. So that's been really good. Um, I haven't been cramping either. I don't know why I didn't get them this time around, but if you've ever had a baby, then you know once you start breastfeeding, your stomach cramps so much because your uterus tries to go back into place and breastfeeding kind of like triggers that cramping. I don't know why, but I did not get that at all this time around. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. 
I'm gonna say it's a good thing because obviously those are really painful so I'm glad I didn't have those but now it has me wondering like was my body doing the right thing like so I have no idea but I did not get those intense cramps this time around I had it with all of my other girls they were so bad especially with Aurora they were like worse than labor pains. I'm not even kidding, they were so bad. I don't know how much I weigh. I definitely don't look the way I did pre-pregnancy. I'm definitely noticing a big difference in my body this time around and it's probably because Jade is my fourth baby so my body has been through a lot. So I definitely have some extra weight on my stomach. I'll show you guys a little bit. So that's how my stomach looks right now and it's definitely still a little like squishy i can tell i have extra weight right here but like i said i'm not sure how much i weigh before i got pregnant i was around like 115 to 120 somewhere in between there and then when i delivered and i had jade i was at 140. i think that is pretty much everything that i can update you guys on I plan on filming like a sit down video all about postpartum, like answering you guys' questions, going more in depth on how like I feel and how like it was after having Jade, how it's been having Jade. So I do plan on filming like a postpartum Q and A. So if you guys have any like questions or you want me to like talk about something specific, leave it down below in the comments and I will get to it. Nothing is TMI you guys it will be a postpartum video so I am going to be talking about everything This is no my doll So we got Jade all cleaned up she had her first little blowout huh You leaked a little bit in your diaper and now she's all clean <laughs> Benny calls her a little turkey in this outfit because of the color and then her little <laughs> white socks <laughs> oh, Daddy calls you a little turkey. A little turkey. Hmm? It's just what I do when I'm out. So try not to hold me down. Feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at these beautiful stars. I want to drive a faster car. Nothing can break me. No, nothing can break me. Try not to hold me down. Leaving me of my mommy duties. What? <laughs> and I just got a package in the mail. I believe this is our Christmas ornaments because we haven't decorated the tree yet. I plan on filming that. But the ornaments that we had for the tree were like blue. And <laughs> I've kind of, as I told you guys in our like Christmas decorate with us video, I changed up like the theme this year like all of the colors because normally all of like our past Christmases we've only done like blue and silver and I'm just like not about that look anymore so I bought new ornaments so hopefully they look good and they match what I have so I don't know we'll see they're red and gold <laughs> you literally just changed the red with the blue yeah those are basically the same ornaments. You said you wanted more colorful ornaments. So well, you got red? Why well, no, because look. <laughs> what do you mean? Lots of people like red ornaments. Not me. <laughs> they're Why not even... these ugly red ornaments all the time? Why? You don't like these? Nope. But they're so pretty. They're not even like the bright red that you're thinking of. They're like burgundy. Yeah, they're like autumn colors. Yeah. And they match with the decor. Not really. <laughs> I'm really like. What? Not really. Well, I guess the ornaments were a bust. Because Benny and Layla don't even like them, and I think they're so pretty. I think the only thing they match is the mantle. I think they're pretty. They don't really match. So you'd rather have the blue ornaments on the tree? Really? Alright guys, well I am going to go ahead and end this vlog here. Apparently we have a Christmas ornament debate in this house. I see myself in an ornament. 
We'll see who's the winner when it comes to decorating the tree. Ooh. It's gonna be me. I don't like it. It's I gonna be me. Like These are pretty. These are pretty. You can put one of them on there. One what? with the blue? One red one. What? One red one and then the other blue ones? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Well, we'll see. Yeah. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this day in the life mm -hmm. vlog. Today was a little chaotic at one point, but we survived. What do you think, girls? Think today went good? Well, if you enjoyed today's vlog, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Yeah. Make sure you're subscribed yeah, to, to the Mad Family. And make sure you hit that bell. That way you guys always get notified every single time we upload. And we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye, guys. Did you ever stop and think why I spend too much time just